flight back from Dallas. Plane coming in here at Andrews Air Force Base, just outside Washington. The President of Jeff momentarily, the lights went out here at the Air Force Base. The hundreds of reporters couldn't see anything. Now the lights are back on. Cabinet officers, diplomats, senators, congressmen. Come out here in the dark. An honor guard now walking up to the tail of the presidential jet. They're from Bowling Air Force Base. They're the regular honor guard that usually dispatches the president as well as welcomes him when he returns to Washington. Army helicopter has just landed. It's making a great deal of noise. What you see is a special truck that has been moved up to the rear of the presidential jet, a special truck on which the coffin will be brought out. A helicopter is standing by just near the presidential jet to take the coffin away. The men are now struggling with the casket. It appears to be the casket struggling to get it out of the plane. The bright, shiny casket is glistening in the lights here at the airport. The casket is a dark brown in color, slightly reddish. It looks as if it's bronze. guard slowly marches away from the plane, leaving room for the elevator-like apparatus that is now lo being lowered, seems to have gotten stuck. The apparatus is coming down now. Navy ambulance is being drawn up just near the truck which lowered the casket from the plane. It is our understanding here that the body will be flown by helicopter from here, possibly to Bethesda Naval Hospital. Other senators have reported that the body will be taken by helicopter straight to the White House. There is some uh, difference of opinion as to the exact plans. is Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy. To her right is her brother-in-law, the Attorney General, Robert Kennedy. They are helping her down out of that carrier that has just brought down the casket. Mrs. Kennedy is apparently getting into the ambulance, the Navy ambulance, with the casket.
It was a very steep step that she had to jump down to get on the floor. AIDS helped her do it. She was helped also by her brother-in-law, the Attorney General Robert Kennedy. President Lyndon Johnson and Lady Bird Johnson are standing just near the door 